So today we are looking at section 2.2. Two. And we start off talking about reference angles. All right, so what in the world are they? So basically, let's read the definition, then we'll kind of look at some examples. Reference angle, the positive acute angle made by the terminal side of angle theta, written theta prime, is the positive acute angle made by the terminal side of angle theta and the x-axis. It's always found with reference to the x-axis. Okay, what in the world? So here's all we got to do. So if we're looking at the first example, 218 degrees, right? So remember, I always start here at zero degrees. And then if I'm going to draw a 218 degree angle, what quadrant does it land in? Remember, that's one, two, three, and four. Three, right? Because that's 90, that's 180. That would be 270. And I don't want to go quite that far. So 218 is going to be somewhere in here. I don't have to be uh, too perfect about it, but. And then what we usually do is we go ahead and we create for ourselves a triangle. We drop a perpendicular to the x-axis, right? Always to the x-axis, always. So the reference angle is this angle right here. So what would the measure of that angle in the triangle be? That's what a reference angle is, okay? So 218 degrees is this whole big thing but the reference angle is just this little piece. So how would I find that in this case? Subtract 180, right? Because this whole flat line, was that was 90, this is 180. So I did 180 and then this much more. So let's just do 218 minus 180, so that's what, 38? So my reference angle would be 38 degrees. Okay, let's try it for 294. So you have some options. So it, I'm gonna be in the fourth quadrant, right? Because I'm past 270. So remember what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this angle. because I'm always gonna drop a perpendicular to the x-axis. So now I wanna know what the measure of that angle was. This angle from here all the way to here was 294, right? That was that big thing. So this time I'm not gonna subtract 180 because that wouldn't make sense here. But what would make sense to find that little thing? I would do 360 minus the 294, right? Because 360 would have been a whole full circle. And I went all this way except for that little piece. So here, it makes sense to do 360 minus the 294, which is 66. Okay, look at C. Oh my gosh, 883. The heck am I supposed to do with that? Well, what would you do? Are you going to draw an 883 degree angle? Not really. What are you really going to draw? Whatever its coterminal angle is, right? Because obviously this thing is spinning around multiple times. And then, so I need to figure out its coterminal angle first. Do you guys remember how to do that? That's it. I just keep subtracting 360. Just don't go negative. So I get 163. So it's coterminal angle is 163. That is not the same as a reference angle. That really is, coterminal angles, if you draw them, they look exactly the same. That's what those are, right? So 163 degrees would be somewhere right about there which means 883 degrees is the same gosh darn angle. It's just that you spun the dial around two times and then you still landed there. Okay, so that's not the reference angle. I still have to find it. But I know that this is 163, 
And I'm looking for, remember, you would drop the perpendicular to the x-axis, and I'm always looking for that angle. So what would that angle be in this case? 17, exactly. So in this case, I'm doing 180 minus the 163, because I'm just short that little bit. So 17 degrees is my reference angle. So you try D, same idea. I'd find the coterminal angle first, and then see if you could figure out that angle. Okay, we got an answer? Maybe. Do we have a coterminal angle? What is that? Yeah, so it's coterminal angle 307. I agree. Oh, whoops. So now I kind of want to sketch where a 307 degree angle would be. So that's going to land me in quadrant four again, right? Because I'm past 270. So I'm somewhere over here draw that perpendicular to the x-axis. I'm looking for this angle, right? This whole big thing is 307. So that means that this little thing must be 53 is correct. Because I'm 53 degrees shy of making that full circle. So 53 is my reference angle. Okay, so before we continue, Rewind back up here to this little chart that we made yesterday. I am going to show you, a, believe it or not, I found such a cool way to like know all this stuff on TikTok. I'll even show you the TikTok video. Are you ready? Okay. So put, I don't know how to get, I'll just have to link to it on the video. So let's stop my video. And then I'll show you their one. No. 